All right, October non-farm payrolls up 261,000 in the month. Let's check in on what this means for the Fed's path ahead with Yahoo Finance's Fed correspondent, Jennifer Schomburger. Jen, a little bit of a mixed reading here when it comes to what the Fed may or may not do at its next meeting. Hey, good morning, Brian. Maybe a mixed bag, but still a strong report from the Fed's perspective. Bottom line up front, this likely means higher rates uh, as it relates to the Fed, given that hotter print on that non-farm payrolls number and that average hourly earnings rose 4.7 percent. This would be considered a strong report from the Fed's perspective. So that upside surprise could mean that the Fed revises its terminal rate higher in December, implying more cumulative tightening and more tightening into 2023 than perhaps previously forecast. Now, coming into this number, markets were pricing that the fund, Fed funds rate could go to 4.5 to 4.75% this year, uh, heading up to about 515 by next summer. Recall that the Fed has projected that the terminal rate would end at about 4.6% next year, but that was forecast back in September, and Powell was very clear on Wednesday during that press conference that the Fed will need to to raise rates higher than that. And this report goes along with that new thesis. I just want to point out that monthly job growth has averaged 407,000 so far uh, this year. That compares with 562,000 per month in 2021. So while slightly cooler than 2021, this is still very strong on a historical basis and much stronger than pre-pandemic. If you look at 2019, uh, job gains averaged 164,000 a month. Uh, and while wage gains have started to slow, we're down to a 4% handle um, from 5%, you know, they remain, wage growth remains well above where it was pre-pandemic. Now, you know, Powell called the job market picture, quote, overheated on Wednesday, saying that demand substantially exceeded supply and that he hasn't seen material softening in the labor market yet. We know that uh, the jobs report is a lagging indicator, but this underscores Powell's feelings on Wednesday. Uh, we'll, we'll get some more from uh, Boston Fed President Susan Collins when she speaks at 10 a.m. this morning. She is the first Fed speaker coming out of that blackout period following the FOMC meeting. Back to you. Jen Schomburg, thanks so much.